on everybody back here with a new video my name is Justin and this is everyday vlogs and I got this 2023 Genesis G70 my own personal car and I'm going to review it hope you guys enjoy all right guys to start off we're gonna start off with the design of this car so this is a like I said it's a 23 model it has a new front fascia as you can see we got Genesis quad beam headlights looks really nice Has a nice badge right there I love this dark chrome grill as you can see we have the intercooler right there and we do have active aerodynamics see these are real vents you can see right through same goes through here same goes back here comes out to the side there we go and we do have that nice design from the front headlights from there and then we go to the back you can see it has the same flow back here as it were the front see so I have quad two on this side two on that side I, mean, I love these rims these are 19 inch rims paired with Michelin Pilot Sport 4s there we have 225s in the front and then we have 255s in the rear so we do have a staggered set, which is nice. Gives it that more sportier look. But yeah, this color is really nice. Like I said, it's called the Havana Red. At nighttime, it's really nice. It, All right, guys, have, so I still have the original sticker here. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It is a 2023 Sport Proceeds package. It has all these standard features. We got the added features here. It's, as you can see, it's a Sport Proceeds package that has been added. We have the total sticker price right there. And yes, it's a Havana red color, which I'm going to show you guys around as you can see all through here. Check out the back end. But yeah, we're going to go over all the features and stuff about it, so let's get to it. Alright guys, we're going to show you the engine this has see you look at the inside we're gonna get to that in a bit but I'm gonna show you the engine right now so this particular model we have the 2.0 turbocharged four-cylinder see all the inside we got structural support here there makes it better handling corners you can see the turbo it has right there. Decent sized turbo, decent sized engine. But I can say it handles better than the V6 since we got better weight displacement. Lighter in the front. Show you guys right there. Nice cover. But other than that, everything's pretty clean. So this engine in particular produces 252 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, I believe. So, which is not bad. It's pretty decent. Gets this car moving really quickly. So yeah, there you guys go for the engine bay. Now let's get moving on to the inside of the car. All right, guys, moving on in. We can see the driver door. Nice aluminum. We got a nice pattern here, brushed aluminum. Same goes for all the switches and everything. And it flows through all the inside. Got our adjustable seats. Nice aluminum pedals. Moving on to the inside. We do got nice paddle shifters here. As you can see right there. Same goes for almost everything. It's all nice brushed aluminum. Got our drive mode selector. I'll show you guys all that. There's our touch screen. I believe it's a 10 inch screen now. We got our nice Napa leather seats, red stitching. This one we also got red seat belts, which is really nice. You guys can see the back seat. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. All right, guys. All right, I could start it out the vehicle as you can see. Our display here we got analog and then we got a digital display here on this side which has a lot of features like here I'm gonna mess with the drive modes shows me here and on the screen on the side 
And when I do put in Sport Plus mode, it has like an active exhaust, so it gets a little bit louder. So that's pretty nice. Well, yeah, we got all our functions here, our modes, our favorite button. It does have lane keep assist and steering assist. Got our smart cruise control. You guys can see everything there. I could switch it up. See our tachometer. Got our compass. Engine temperature. Got tire pressures. Tension levels. Accumulated info for gas. And our driver info for our instant gas. Alright, moving on to the display here. As you can see, you have a nice background that you're greeted with here. And we have all our maps, valet mode, navigation, you see all that here. We have our climate, you could set all that up, change it there. There we go. And you can mess with the vehicle, let's see, vehicle right here. You got your drive mode alerts, driving assistance, your cluster active sound design you could change the sound of the engine right here as you can see I have it the largest I could hear the biggest difference but moving on down here got our map navigation radio media another favorite button and a setup you do have your nice tune files and your power and your volume control nice brush aluminum with gloss black moving down to the climate control we got here you could change different kinds right there can't change your temperature this is dual climate control so I could put temperature warmer on my side and same for passenger it could be warmer or colder do got heated seats and ventilated seats which is pretty nice and moving on to the shifter as you can see we got electronic shifter it's pretty nice then we got our parking sensors, our automatic brake hold. We do got our camera that I could just pull up right here. Nice resolution. And then I could turn it off by clicking it again. We got our traction control button. And there's our drive modes. Pretty nice storage here and there. Not all that. And a nice space there. And we do got a sunroof. Genesis calls it a moonroof, but. It's not as big as a moonroof would be as it would be all the way back there, but it's a decent size. You can open up all the way. See you guys there. It's really nice. And then close it up, same thing. You just click the button back in. Tap it one time, and it closes that. And it also closes your sunshade as well. So one touch of a button, it does all that, which is pretty nice. Got all the buttons on the mirror for garage door openers, your SOS, quick navigation, and then your Gen your Genesis Connected Services button right there for quick access. All right, guys. Now that we're gonna move on to the back seat. All right, guys. Now we're in the back seat. Same material goes in the back. Flows very nicely. Got brushed aluminum everywhere. Nice Napa leather seats. Quilts red. Like I said, we got the red seat belts. We do got climate vents here, so. Then we got our USB port right there. Nice storage nets for here. And the best part I like about this car is you don't, if you're too big, the passenger seat, you can move it from back here. So let me show you. We got the buttons right there. As you can see, so I could just move the seat forward, backward, or I could put that. There you go. See all that? Makes it nice and simple. Which I like, which I figured more cars should start doing that, so it's easier and I don't have to walk outside and around and move the seat when I could just do it right there. There you guys go. Not much to see back here. We got our normal lights, turn that on or off. Nice LEDs. Got a nice speakers, they are Lexicon. I believe you can see probably over there. They are Lexicon, which is pretty nice. Got a nice speaker back there, back here. A nice storage right there. Let me open this up for you guys. More cup holders with nice brushed aluminum. I like how they went in detail with all this. See all that. Yeah, it's pretty nice back here. Got a lot of room, and I'm five foot five, so I got a lot of room still. 
Yeah, guys. It's nice. All right, guys. Moving on to the back again. We got our nice G70 Genesis. Then we got our uh, spring-loaded tailgate, which it opens as you walk close up to the car. It's pretty nice. Nice, decent-sized trunk. See what we've got in here. And our spare tires. Extra lug nuts. Our jack and everything. Nicely displayed. It's pretty easy to reach. It doesn't close by itself, but close just as easily. Put it down like that. Walk close. So yeah, guys, we're going to take it for a test drive and see how she rides. Alright, guys, we're taking it for a test drive. Throw it in reverse. I'm going to show you guys how she rides. Alright. All right, guys, so we're in a drive right now. Right now, I'm in comfort mode. As you can see, we are a pair of an eight speed automatic transmission, and using the paddle shift, it shifts really responsive. There's no lag or anything. So, I'm gonna take you guys for a drive real quick, show you show you how it is, and then we'll throw it in sport and have a little bit of fun. So, there we go. Well, it rides really nice, got a nice view back there. Not really any blind spots and we still got our blind spot monitoring system so it lets you know really easily you, know, you don't really have to worry about moving this car around changing lanes and stuff yeah all right guys give me one second i'm gonna throw it in sport mode for you guys and show you all right here we got a nice stretch let's change out the mode let's put it sport sport plus it turns off traction control and stability control so let's do it guys sounds really good there you guys go there's one little pull but i love the sound of this car despite that it's a four cylinder somehow this car sounds just as good as a v twin turbo v6 would well, there you guys go with that. There you guys go. I'm downshifting and as you can see the transmission shifts really quick. Downshift. See it's just about instant. There you go. My hand's in the way but don't mind that guys. There you guys go look. Sounds really good. I'm going to try to activate launch control for you guys. Oh man, <laughs> this definitely takes off. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I just want to do a quick video to review my 2023 Genesis G70, and it's really nice. I, it has a good buy sound. Let's let me show you guys that real quick. Let me probably gotta open the door. There you go. Nice little goodbye sound. It looks pretty nice. But like I said, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to review it. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's another look at the color. But if you guys want to see more videos or another review on the car, just let me know any suggestions you got. And we'll get moving. So there you guys go. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Turn on post notification. And... Maybe you could do a review on your car someday. You just gotta let me know. Let me down in the comment section down below. DM me on my Instagram, official Justin G, and we could work something out. But alright guys, that's gonna be it. And hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.